So this is going to be an example of using GPVDM to calculate sealive transients. So let's start GPVDM and make a new simulation by clicking on the new button and we can create various types of simulations so we can create organic solar cells and various types of inorganic solar cells and even organic LEDs but this time we're going to choose an organic solar cell so we'll click next and we'll choose somewhere to save it so I'll save it in the directory simulation there we go and here's our um, organic solar cell so this is the device structure in sort of pictorial form on the right and on the left we've got the exact layer structure and which is the active layer in which case the P3HT PCBM layer um, so firstly let's look at the transient simulation so we'll click on the transient simulation button and we've got various types of transient simulation we can perform but in this case we've got a, um, a seal of transient so we can see the voltage transient going from about 0.6 volts down to minus 5 then back up to 0.6 volts and we're performing it at one sun um, and uh, yes so now let's close that because that looks about correct and let's select the simulation mode as a sealive mode so that's selecting this transient simulation profile we've just seen and click run So now the simulation's finished, so we can look at the results. So we go and find the plot file. So firstly, let's look at the uh, the voltage transient. So this was a voltage transient that got applied to uh, the device. Uh, so now let's look at the actual current transient. So let's look at pulse I. And I think we just need to invert the axis. So pop, and then zoom in on the actual seal of transient. So this is the seal of transient, and that's. Uh, typical seal of transient one might expect from a uh, solar cell. So let's close that and now what we can do is we can run a series of simulations to examine how a particular parameter affects the seal of transient. So let's look at the parameter scan window and add a new parameter to vary. So and we select it from a list here. So in this case I'm going to vary the electron mobility and let's add another parameter. So let's say hole mobility And the values for electron mobility I'm going to scan through is going to be 1 times 10 to minus 4, 1 times 10 to minus 5, 1 times 10 to, 10 to minus 6. So this is all in meters um, because that's the way I've set up GPVDM. And for the whole mobility I'm going to tell it to follow the electron mobility. So I'm going to change the operation from scan to electron mobility. So this means we're changing the electron mobility and the whole mobility will, fun it, will, uh, will follow it. So let's run this series of simulations. So the simulation is now finished, so we can look at the results. So let's look at the, let's find a file to plot. So here are our three simulations we chose, chose the different electron hole mobilities. So if we find the uh, current transient, and double click on it, the model will plot all three current transients. So let's first invert the axis and then zoom in on the sealive transient and we can see effectively we've got three different transients with three different types of, or three different values of mobility. And we can see that the, um, the transient with the highest mobility is sort of the quickest that we'd expect effectively from a sealive transient. So that's it, that's simulating sealive transients with GPVDM.